Hey guys, this is Raf and this is the HTC One X. And saying that name in 2022 is quite frightening. Now you might be asking me, Raf, why do you have this phone? Well, this phone was at some point in its life bricked. And I was having a really hard time trying to unlock this phone. But thank god I managed to work this phone by installing CyanogenMod version 12.1. Although, it's quite sad that I don't know how to revert this phone to its original HTC Sense 5, which in my opinion looks really good, it's not a big deal. So, getting that introduction out of the way, let's have a quick look at the HTC One X and see what all the hype was about. The One X is an incredibly eye-catching smartphone that was created in two color variations, white and black. And we have seen in the past that HTC have made some questionable smartphone choices, but this is definitely not the case in this sleek smartphone. The One X is still a monoblock touchscreen smartphone, so nothing new in HTC's design. However, with its slight curved display and gentle rolls and tips all over the body, HTC does manage to keep this phone comfortable in their hand while also keeping it sophisticated. The 4.7 inch HD screen is a real cherry on top. This screen was one of the greatest I've seen from HTC, despite it being released in 2012. Featuring a 312 pixel per inch, excellent color, and excellent viewing angles, the display on this phone is definitely on top. By sealing the phone's battery and memory inside the handset and making neither user changeable, HTC did take a risk. I mean, we've seen in the past the iPhone 4 and the HTC One S, they definitely did similar design choices by concealing the components inside and it wasn't really that big of a deal and I predict that only a small percentage of users will be turned off by the inability to swap out the battery RAM is a different issue but generally speaking the more the merrier so you need to seek elsewhere if you don't believe that the bundled 32 gigabytes of memory is adequate anyway below the surface there are some important improvements that only HTC enthusiasts will notice if you didn't catch on, this is not the original firmware. I've installed Cyanogen Mod 12.1 like I mentioned in the beginning, mainly because I had no idea how to revert the original HTC Sense 5 firmware. Though, the process of installing this custom ROM is quite tedious, but it's definitely worth a shot. The personalization of this custom ROM is endless. You can find many themes that are suitable to your personality. I downloaded the Morpheus skin by Volt, which gave this phone a really fresh feel. And what's even better is the fact that you can choose aspects of the themes that you want to incorporate into another. For example, I was using the Morpheus skin theme, but I like the original font better, so I can tick a box and all is done. It's really nifty. Now, let's talk about performance. One of the main selling points of the One X is its quad-core NVIDIA CPU, the NVIDIA Tegra 3, which is also one of the hardest features to test found that the hard way, but for some reason I was not able to install Geekbench or Antutu Benchmark. I thought I'd just stick to 3D Mark instead, but even that didn't work. However, I haven't had any troubles with it in terms of day-to-day -day performance, although I have noticed that when the device is running low on power, the phone does start to throttle, meaning the phone will automatically slow down its performance in order to use less energy and to conserve battery. This really didn't take away from user experience, though don't give this custom OS high expectations. Okay, so not the most exciting feature, but let's talk about the camera. The One Nexus 8 megapixel camera is where HTC really differentiated itself. The One Nexus is advertised as having one of the fastest smartphone cameras, and that's a claim I'll test myself. It has a specialized processor for image processing, and with minimal movement, this camera is able to capture some really good images. If I had one thing to complain about in the camera, the One X performs really poorly in low light conditions. I found that images were either oversaturated or overexposed, but by adjusting some sliders randomly, you'll find that the image will slightly improve. Overall, the HTC One X is a great phone, though not for 2022. Its design is up there with many flagship smartphones today and the Tegra 3 processor definitely added to its smooth user experience. If you have this phone, try custom OS, it will change your perspective on this smartphone. That's all I have today for you guys. If you enjoyed this video, 
A like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated. Other than that, enjoy your day and peace. Oh, 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 oh,